Hey guys, in this effect house tutorial, I want to show you how you can create an AI art effect for TikTok, which turns your camera stream or a picture from your gallery into an AI art. So when you tap on the screen, there will be a countdown and then there will be a loading screen and after a few seconds, it turns your picture into an AI art. So yeah, let's start with this tutorial. Before we continue with this tutorial, I wanted to mention my Patreon account, where you can find a lot of Effect House and Land Studio projects, which you can just download and use it as a starting point for your own projects. Thanks to all my Patreons who already support this channel. And if you also want to become a Patreon, just go to the description of this video and yeah, follow the link. Thank you and let's continue with this tutorial. Hey again, so let's create an AI art effect here in Effect House. To create this effect, we have to go to our left hand side to our hierarchy panel and here we click on add object. Now under 2D, we can find AI image. And when we click on this, Effect House will do a lot of things which makes the process for us very simple. So just click on it and then this window will pop up and in the back you can already see that there is a lot of things are going on here in the assets panel and also here in your scene panel. And here in the AI editor window, we have the um, option to select presets or we can also create our own image. So here we can type in a prompt and here we can choose a model to create our AI art. But I will go for this tutorial with a preset and show you how you can customize this preset. So I will go here with the Polar Polaroid AI model and here we can just click on apply model or we can already edit it here. But yeah, as I already said, I will just go here with this model. After we click apply model, we can already see that when we select our AI art image here on the left hand side, that when we go to the right, we have a lot of options to customize this model and the style of the picture. And the preset to trigger the AI art effect is that we tap on the screen. So when we tap on the screen, there is a countdown and then, yeah, effect house takes some seconds and after that we can see our final image. So there is this animation going on and then you can see that we have a Polaroid style art image. So yeah, we can customize this now. For example, we can customize the transition style of this effect. So for this, we go to the right hand side when the AI art image is selected and here we have the transition style. And underneath, we can click on the plus library. When we do this, Effectos takes us to the asset library and here we have a lot of different transition styles and we can just yeah, select one. So I will choose the clo close and then just click here on import. Then the next thing is that we can change the transition duration. At the moment it is set to four, but this is not the loading time. This is just the transition. So um, at the first example, it was this slide from left to right, and now it will be this close. So I will lower this to, let's say 2.5 seconds. And here we can change our art style of our AI image. For example, here we have the base model, which is the style of the AI image. Here we can change this for example, but I will leave it like it is. And we can also change our prompt. For example, when we want to add some objects or we want to change something um, about the outcome. And yeah, here we have also the prompt strength. I will set it a little bit up and yeah, just play around with those settings and this is more or less all the magic about the AI art effects here in Effect House. I can show it to you one more time because we have changed the transition style. So when I tap now on the screen, the countdown is still there. And now you can see that the transition is a little bit different. So yeah, when we go to the left hand side now, as I've already said, 
we have a lot of assets which Effect House has created for us. Here we have, for example, the countdown animation. This is the 3 to 1 at the beginning, then also the loading spinner during the transition and also the tap, to, the tap screen animation, which we can see at the beginning here. You can change this, of course, you can load in your own textures, but I think those are the most common textures and so every user knows what to do. And yeah, when we go to the hierarchy panel, we also have a lot of objects here, but the most important thing is the AI art, AI art image because here you can see edit style, but we have also this user upload media, but here the names of the um, layers say don't edit. So yeah, just leave them like they are. And yeah, also the UI here, you can change the size of the spinner, of the tap, the screen, instruction, and so on. So yeah, I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. If yes, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new on this channel, it would be nice when you subscribe to it. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.